I'm one of those children that um, finds it hard in school to stay still. I have autism and hypersensitivity. Life online is way better than offline. There's lots of people you can chat to, you can make friends. But it is really easy to just get radicalised. You just click on one chat that leads to someone trying to ask you to do something you don't want to do. It happens all the time. I stood in front of loads of teachers. I taught them how to be safe online. Most people don't know what radicalisation is and I'd like to help with that. Pittsburgh is diverse, but uh, you do tend to find a lot of division between a group of people and ethnicities and uh, cultures and nationalities. So for the past year, I've tried to connect a bit more with Pittsburgh because I've lived here for nearly 20 years. When you listen to other people's story, it might not be the same as yours, but there's something there that connects to yours. You can find the common ground. What I've learned, I want to transmit to other people as well. So if I can create my own project, if I can continue working on this project, if I can do something to unite people, then that's great. People that I met on, on this story of the city, they've been fantastic and I hope I'll be in contact with them forever. The pilot project has allowed us to identify some amazing ideas at a grassroots level, some of which we hope will be scalable and we can take even further. But of course, this journey doesn't stop. This issue isn't going away and it's something that we all need to tackle across society now and into the future. I want people to be able to have a nation of neighbours rather than worry about who's around the corner.